Hey guys, Mekonaspot here. Welcome back to another episode of Sally Face. Episode 1. Let's see. Radio. What is this thing? That's a police scanner. I can listen in on the local cop chatter. How the hell did you get this? That's a story for another day, but hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I can make a fake call, maybe I can strap them long enough for you to sneak in a 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective something they weren't working looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for pretty quick to sign me up for the break in. Well I got made the call down here and I'm just messing with you. I'm totally fine for this. I've been waiting to peek in that room anyways. Or wanting. Sweet, so what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery hostage situation and that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that last a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I could give you a heads up too once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery at like a gas station or drugstore and make it a little more believable. I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this and head to your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press the shift button there to call me. Hmm. Walkie talkie. Painting. I like your paintings. Thanks, dude. It's my passion. Crow Man and the Wolf Boy. Let's head back to Mr. Addison and get some tea. Hello, young sir, new resident. As in tea, please and thank you. Yes, coming right up. How did you get through that, that for the mail slot? There you are, sir. Please enjoy. Cool. As in tea, definitely has a funny smell to it. Definitely not drinking this stuff. Huh. Okay. So we live on four four. Let's hand our our place. He's still in here. He is. At least he's trying now, not drowning himself in booze, not totally giving up on life on me. Hey, a quarter, a score. Oh no, he's drowning in booze. He passed out after, and then he dropped the glass. Lovely. Okay, I'm in my room now. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if you can get into four or three now. Oh, that's my room. Green door. Cool. Oh. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Looks like anything important, just looks like junk to me. There is a five carved into that pillow. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. There's a five in that pillow. And those pretty ponies? There's these little figures. Looks like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. Hmm. That's it. I know how we can get him. Get out there and come down to the basement.
Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mr. Sanderson got the super rare one or something. She was telling me about it the day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I would be surprised if that's why he offed her in the first place. I did always give me the crease. Just something unsettling about him, you know? This is crazy. That guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in the building with the murderer. You just, you live here for one day. Exactly. That's why you gotta get in Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, what do I have to do? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks? Fuck you, fatty. Alright, alright. I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool, you're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in it without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? Nothing, no, I just watched too much TV. But your fingerprints are gonna be on the bag. Huh. Uh. Let's see. Sure. Go ahead, listen to Sal Sandy B. Paul multiple times. Uh, so is this place haunted or what? What? Not this again. Then Chuck put you up for this. You no, know, it has got a weird feeling about it. Who's Chuck? He's the big hit on the theory. Usually can't miss him. But anyways, I don't believe in ghosts. Never saw one with my own eyes. I guess so. What's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. Hmm, looks like you have to come up with another distraction. Any ideas? All I know is that Charlie likes to eat in four. Okay, I'll think of something. Huh. Oh, you can still hear it. That's funny. Huh, I'm still not pretty hang hungry. I better hang on to this quarter for something else. Gee, I'm sure you're looking forward to using this. Nothing else but junk in there. Hmm. Let's see. Four, three. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. What's up? I met Larry. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad you kids got to meet. Me too. It's good to have a friend again. Larry's a nice guy. I knew you two would get along. Do you need any help? Are you poking fun of me for mob at the same spot for so long? Well, I like to be thorough, but to be honest, sometimes my mind just wanders and I lose track of time. That's cool, I'm the same way. I couldn't tell you're a creative type like my lair. I'm glad you two are getting along. Sometimes I worried about them. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. uh key. Oh, let's do that one first. Oh, I shouldn't be bothering with this stuff. Let's keep this positive. Okay, I can no longer talk to her. Fun. Oh, hello. Hey, whoa, um, hey. I'm Sal, I just moved in. You can call me Sally Face. Chug, uh, nice to meet you, Sally Face. Nice meeting you, Chug. He's eating chocolate. Hmm. Okay, okay, I got it so I can talk to her again. Uh, do you need any help? Uh... I'll keep him out of trouble. What do you mean by that? He didn't tell you about what have you two been talking about? 
He told me a dark secret. Oh dear, Larry keeps insisting about that silly curse. I don't know where he gets this stuff from. I never raised him to be superstitious. I hope he's not filling your head with that nonsense too, Sal. He's a good boy, my Larry. I just, I guess he's just a bit an overreactive imagination. I let it on the television. Get Le got Lisa to mention Larry's secret. So now, let's say hi to Chug. Uh, how did you get that nickname, huh? What nickname? Uh, never mind. Uh, do you think this building is haunted? Why? Did you see something too? Yeah, I think so. Knew it and not crazy. Ha! So you seen that old man? Old man, no, I think that's just a crazy homeless dude that sleeps on flies sometimes. But I do see a lot of stuff, man. Crazier stuff than this old man. Like things moving on my own and weird noises and stuff, you know? I keep trying to tell everyone, but no one ever believes me. Well, I believe you. Aw, thanks, Sally Face. Oh, I did see a girl once, huh? A girl, I thought it was a homeless guy's daughter, but she just disappeared. And that's why I used my key to lock the bathroom and shut it tight. It was too scary. Wait, you have a key to four, 504? Yep, found it on the ground. Let's go check it out together. No way, not going in there. Ghosts live in there. How about you let me borrow the key, and I'll check to make sure it's safe. Can't just give you the key, but maybe you could trade me something for it. Uh... Maybe that quarter. Okay, we, so we got Lisa to expose her, her son's secret to us. Let's see what Larry has to say about it. Oh, dare I talk about Larry too, about the curse? I can't remember. So about your curse, what, what, who told you that? Your mom sort of let it slip, although I may have nudged her a little bit. Damn it, she always says too much. It was a big deal, but you don't want to talk about it. It's okay, I understand. Yeah, sorry. So, I like you and all, but I'm just... But I mentioned you. I'm not ready to talk about that yet. It's cool. Sorry, I prayed. Okay. Let's see. Let's head back to 303. Make sure we exhausted all the options. Let's chug, and then we can go to 504. Uh, I want to trade. If you let me borrow that key, I could give you, um... Quarter. Oh man, heck yes. Here, take it. Five oh four. The key for room five oh four. I should be able to get the to the bathroom door open and open with this chug tapey skull and crossbones to it. Get toy from two oh four. Okay. Is anyone there? <laughs> it's okay, I wouldn't hurt you, I'm a friend. Oh. Ghost of Megan, you are? Yeah, sure, my name is Sally Face. Your name is funny, you're not scared of me, Sally Face? No, of course not. Okay, that's good. Why do you have pigtails in your hair? That's for girls, silly. Ha who said that only girls can wear their hair in pigtails? I like pigs too. I never thought of that. You're a funny boy. Why were you crying before? Everyone always runs away from me when I try to talk to them. I get so lonely up here. I can understand that. I get lonely sometimes too. It must be hard being by yourself. Well, I'm not really all alone. There are... Oh, she's gone. Hey, little girl, are you still here? Huh. Old laxative. This would keep that creep occupied for sure.
T plus lobster. Oh, there's Chug. Chug, what are you doing up here? Ask myself my, that same question. I thought you were too scared of this room. I am, but you were gone for so long, I need to check on you, you know? Make sure the ghost didn't get you. Thanks, man. I'm okay. Nothing got me. Good, good. So I was thinking maybe you keep that key. I don't like coming up here anyway. You seem more you seem more into it. Alright, I'll hold on to you, but you can borrow it anytime you want. Okay, deal. No care. Chuck's still in here? No. Okay. Oh. My group boy with some weird game I found in the basement. Ooh. Start. House of the Wretched. Upon waking from its grave, a lowly skeleton rises to the world of the living once more. Plagued with despair, the old pile of bones struggled to push forward so that it may be released of the shackles binding it to this life of undead. Huh. Level 1, the graveyard. Headstone. The grave I had dug my way out of mirrored the condition of my soul, empty, cold, and dark. My father's grave was hidden at the very edge of the cemetery, cast away by rema my remaining family, only to be included in our burial plot for legal reasons. Gotta eat. Interesting. As I looked upon my sister's grave, a great sadness came over me, only to, only to be burned away by a sudden rage that swelled within my heart. Anything over here? The worn stone on my grandfather's grave reminded me of how he passed before I was born. Anything else? My grandmother was one of the kindest people I've ever known. Over to the courtyard. Oh, the old spring sprayed gently in the wind, taunting me with memories of youth and happiness. The fire pit was filled with coals and ash, but some of the bits within seemed strange and foreign to me. I couldn't quite reach inside of my own to examine the remains. I noticed a twig hanging off, hanging low and broke it off. Okay, let's go poke the fire pit. I'm kind of just saying space board. I sprouted through the ash with the stick and had that I have found. At the bottom of the pit, I discovered a gruesome sight. Pieces of human bone and teeth, anger and sorrow, spurred through my bones in a hurricane-like fashion. Fire pit, okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just hitting space to see what interacts. In my living years, I had many happy moments on that bench, sometimes with the company of my sister or mother, sometimes just myself, in the peaceful solitude of the courtyard. The house. The stones of the fireplace that once brought warmth into our lives now sat silent in the absence of life. Dining room is set was disheveled. One chair had been tinted over and a broken glass, wine glass besides scuff marks on the table. My mother had loved her wine, perhaps too much, though I can't blame her. I noticed something under the chair. It was a key I've been looking for. 
upstairs. His study. All of the plants were withered. The father encampment was locked. My desk. Uh, my father had spent his life behind that desk. Oh, I guess it's his father's bed. Office. Uh, table, piles of paper surrounded an ashtray of filled with mints of many cigarettes. Ah! Cabinet was filled with business documents, tax files, and the miscellaneous office supplies. And when the drawers, I saw a picture of my parents. In it, they were younger and happy, a sight I wasn't used to. Final cabinet was locked. Another locked door as if the house was trying to keep me from venturing deeper into my past. I noticed a book that seemed out of place. When I pulled it out, a key fell to the ground. That for the filing cabinet? In the top drawer, I saw a telephone record with multiple, multiple time circles. Beneath that were pictures of what looked like my mother having lunch with another man. Oh, okay. Her room. The fragment memories of my past begin to come together. The pieces of me I had lost along the way. The horror I hid from. Reality have returned to me. Okay. Oh. Looks like we're Megan. anything over here I can't tell oh hello that father Oh. Her eyes turned from me and my heart grew dark and twisted with hatred. All that I have once loved is now gone. I put an end to it all. The burden of living is too f is far too great to bear any longer. Please forgive me. Where did you get that game? I found it downstairs in the lost and found box. It's a pretty strange game. There's no label on it. It reminds me of something. What is it? I can I'm sorry, please leave me alone. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the story of Megan's parents and her family. Damn. House of the Wretched. Complete the gear gear board game. Huh. No wonder this place- this place is definitely haunted by something. Okay, let's finally go feed- get the thing from Charlie. No one's home. I know they're so cool, yeah? Huh. So, be right back. Oh, is that Addison tea I smell? Yeah, I just got some from. Oh, I just love Addison tea. Give it here. Yeah. 
Ah, so tasty, so relaxing. So many laxatives. Oh, I don't think this is setting right in my... Oh, I think... I have to go right now. Don't touch anything. Oh, he farted. Just don't touch anything. Ugh. You can hear him shitting. Oh, you just got the toy skirt. Okay, we just stole his pony as he's shitting himself. Lovely. Hey, detective. Hello, Sal. I think I know who did it. Have you been talking to that Larry boy? I can't put much faith in a teenager with a criminal record. Oh, I, uh... Look, I appreciate your kids trying to help with you, but unless you got some sort of evidence, then please from spreading rumors. I got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlene's room. How did you get it? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlene. He was showing me all of his toys. That's why I noticed one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well, a little detective in training, huh? Haha, <laughs> not that kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember next time you come to with us with this info, stop putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes, sir, do you got it? Is he being framed for murder, or did he actually murder over a fucking pony? Uh, missing sandwich. Uh, baby s uh, silver word? Uh, something patties. Uh, post over. Please don't post over this note, thanks. Is there anything over here? No. So what do they sell? You can rest easy now. Oh. Hi, Charlie. I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. Bitch, how did you get out of the toilet? Uh, bringing smiles to the dead corner. Look, no one was around, so I looked through the back of the window of the van. Oh, her head is split open. Such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a young child as you were. Fifteen years old, and Yuri witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess so. All these years later, the new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so have you said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I said, the guy was my best friend all throughout high school. And after high school? Well, we've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. You seem to be upset by my mention of him. I just don't know what good asking the same questions all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, yes. What a full sure our time is up for today. Wait. I... Uh, it's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. Next week could be our last meeting before your trial, so I hope you'll let me help you. I don't think you're a murderer, Sal. Mate. Huh. He might be the only one. Charlie's Pony, finish episode one. Huh. Sal? Sally, where are you?
Okay, so that is the end of episode one. If you guys want to see more of my videos, hit that like button, want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button. Let me know if I whenever I upload, hit that notification bell. And this sure really likes my page on Twitch, Twitter, Merch Stores, all that's my jazz along the game store page and the game devs link as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.